Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the MLP Classic Vlog. To as you all know, today we are not covering a regular episode. This Saturday will be the effort to leak of the latest edition to the greatest film franchise ever. In the condition is called Milo Pony Christian Girl Legend of the Everfree. And to a patient for that event, while you go back in time and look at Milo Pony Christian Girl, written by Megan McCarthy. Oh boy, this little thing has been interesting, especially after the follow up. I have a box of them yet. <laughs> Look, it will like for $20. I figured why not. You know, so, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh boy. Girl. Yeah, guessing how it blossoms. I mean, I'm not gonna go do too much on the backstory because I did a general review back in when it came out, and while some of the things are updated, especially after the sequel, again after hearing the opinion, and you know, my opinion kind of changed and come blank, but in general, I still have a similar opinion now. But of course, I'm gonna just repeat a reverse one. It will come out, and it'll give me a fair appreciation, or maybe like it last time. Either way. Like what happened with Geek a lot of time. Uh, in the follow up to you know? Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, I remember how Quetcher Girl went from a feeling you know, like a rumor, very people like an image popped up. We didn't, people didn't know what to make it. We don't know what to put up in the movie. And now, here you are, three movies later. So, the fourth one on the way, two movies later, the fourth one on the way, which apparently aired in the Couple other country and a couple of watch it, but I'm gonna wait for the official legal release. So, sorry for all of you bad things. Yeah, I'll be convenient for me to be on the but nah, I feel like I gotta wait. Yeah, wait my turn. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, uh, go. This was definitely quite the controversial thing when it came out because the very concept, human, I mean, he, I mean, coming I mean, now, it was less controversial because. More people have it. By the time you get to movie free, if you get there, you don't. And there are more people who have got kind of don't. And the good thing is that it's not it. Well, canon, if they don't represent the show, or some character make a cameo to Epico, like Ant, we're going to know it's a reference to the show, you can pretend it never happened. Even though canon is that the ca it happened to a character and blah blah blah, and even from uh, the first movie, especially actually, you know, development uh, for, for a character, you know, it's like you could get the look and not. Do anything, go. You can pretend that this never happened, you know, if you don't, if you still just are stubbornly. But at the point, people are kind of stubborn if they're not on board, but at the same time, it's, you know, you know, I mean, again, if you're not on board after a different movie, like, whatever. I'm very keen to get a going to turn out, but I'll just cook that when I get to that we on. Um, you know, um, on the one little thing where I was on the fence, you know, because it's like, the concept of them going to roll in full human is very fan fiction it's kind of, and it felt very, very cash grabby. And to be fair, that's the franchise in general, but, you know, again, to be fair, in the game, there are a lot of things that look at cash grab, but the writer put in the effort and make it fully work. You know, some characters like Kate or Boy or Dad come out of the you know, emotional and for the most part, writer gets to put in an effort to pull slow the after appearing. Sometimes you have something like, come cake and turn out. I mean, sometimes you'll have a cake like, cake and saying, our little tickle to, to them. And it's kind of clear because it's an art. But then there's something like, which I can't go which it works perfectly because of what's going on. And to a wing, but ultimately, that's a great kind of development. And they pull off very, very well, um, especially, you know, the bite will compute my believe it. Don't compute people picking about that. I can't believe it. Like, by that point, I can all think that you should just get kept it, you know? It's fine, but a couple people complain about like it's still like relevant, it's like whatever. Oh, whatever. They like, Crush Girl was a, I mean, it, it came after, it was going out not, at least roughly around, at least it started to pick up trash around time of the like, Alcorn Twilight, and that double dose made 2013 a very interesting year. I mean, theoretically, um, the, between King 3 and 4, go kind of interesting to keep them a bit of. Well, Pern got Twy before we got four and got Twy Sparkle. It came out June ish, I believe. Can't remember what month year or two. I don't know, September, around the time I seriously when the game came out. Well, 
you know. But, um, but let's get into the actual movie, because you don't care about the backstory anyway. As you probably don't know about now, the basic plot is that Fu Kung 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 Twilight Sparkle has to go for the magic mirror to shake down a bad guy and end up in a world where everyone is Darren Cleveland, two legged um, creature known as human, and Twilight has to, you know, try also find, find people who, especially like a friend, are gonna have to become protected of the false former in order to get her crown back from the villain Kung so, now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that email to people, I don't like it. Yeah, I could definitely, um, actually, I should probably take the deck out and go with the It's weird to see art of the deck out until we didn't do anything for the land. But now, Fabro took it right, this company can do it right. I think all of them have discarded it in some way. I just did it during it too from time, but I both got it right. And Shout out in general can just do that. Um, now I'm reviewing DVD, which by the way, speaking of DVD, they got uh, bonus features, you know, including an act like genuine behind the scenes look and stuff with people talking about making the movie and all that. Well, that's really cool because we got uh, this one uh, had a commentary. That's cool. Um, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I got commentary, but it's not that. Oh, I'll go there. Feel long in the prequel short, which I haven't seen. Yeah. Uh, this actually had to leave seen, which goes into a little detail. But they're kind of genuine behind the scenes, though. Because it's technically the best made of the DVD. You can kind of tell because we're fine to match up. You know that? That's not. I'm putting neither. I'm going to neither. This little thing got me down here. Okay, when. I don't know. Especially when you have a box together, they can kind of stick out way more. Okay, I'll talk. Anyway, so even after I don't, you know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a trying to compare to it. It's a bigger problem is the fact that this thing is like a strange, you know, concept, having to go to a world full of humans, get a whole different universe, and it's definitely all full, and that kind of wild element. I'm a couple of because we're getting used to this new world, so a lot of logic problems with how the world works, especially if you everyone specifically a teenager, except for the ones that aren't. Apparently, if you were to get your like, but like some characters got like, clear like adult and some aren't. You know, some like Rarity, who probably will only call them if I had to guess, she's definitely an adult who actually been the player, but she still seems it all very well out of color. She obviously has more power than color she won. You know? You know? That again. And some animals fail, like Bunny is still a bunny, but might become a dog. Maybe, maybe it just, maybe Bunny came out of the world, he wouldn't change it, change Yeah, that's the thing. Um, and there's a lot And, you know, he was funny, when I first watched it, I do wonder, is there even Twilight, and I didn't know that I could go joke about, yeah, mentioning, like, like, a big advice, like, I had to do from Kuduraku hat, you know, blah, 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 and take out one again. And then, of course, at the end of Rainbow Rocks, we get confirmation, and they went from there. Her name was Guy Twy, apparently. Official name, according to the credits and stuff like that. Okay then, um, yeah, um, <laughs> guy, try, I can get in. Anyway, yeah, um, and one of the big concern with this one is that because you're in high school, a lot of people are gonna have very, it can be a very ditty channel movie, and, and for the most part, I actually don't avoid that because, for the way, I'm going to a shine, but they have Michael drama, but a lot of it, they, they pretty dark, have a hard time drugging the Mad Pony element, like with, you know, Magic Power again, it'd be a high school element. Well, I believe we can do a better job of combining them. Go, you get combined cool like stuff, but it's more, it more focused on the Mad Pony sort of element, but it combined it with the high school element. This one probably a bit too much of a high school element. Um, it kind of feels like a pilot for a hearing. We haven't a bit of a full hearing of it yet. Yeah, just a full hearing again. I feel, I feel like I feel like we should stop the movie because I think I have one point of an idea again. That one we can worry about. The thing that what where can you go from here? I feel like I don't know. I feel like we covered the thing pretty well in the greatest film series written on to man. Fuck all rings with my shit right here. <laughs> oh, I can get everything. Um, you know, um, I'm a big, I'm the big. I think a pro in terms of context is the humor because there's a lot of good humor of the way Twilight interacts with the world. Like, I like a lot of jokes for trying to get you to standing on two legs. There are some pretty funny, like, plastic stuff. And just some beauty in a little moment in general. You know, like, um, that's a fun. Um, 
And here in general, I've got a lot of, like, good line, you know, Petrol and Pinkie Pie and Scottish, yeah, everyone got, like, a good line or two. Even, like, go oh, Fourth Reverend can go get tricky. Yeah, everyone come Fourth Fan Critic, which, if you, you name it, if you know, you, you know, a couple people will be like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, Kai for me did a much better job of making it go, if you don't know Reverend Finn, it's the way perfect can, you know, Kai kind of we especially did a good job of that, um, that interesting. But, uh, but yeah, the uh, pro and the con do kind of go hand in hand because when they conquered the movie, you can call it that they had to get the cup go. But got a lot of problems. Again, not to mention, they spend quite a bit of time rehashing the pilot, I think. I mean, you, I mean, you have a lot of the stuff with um, try, trying to make friends and even some more things happen. Like, we even repeat the King of Flutter Shine. You know, they repeat that. You know, and it even comes down to them having to take with, like, a big villain who. Ultimately, who would have to feed if they turn into the full flower that they've acquired for and that would be the guy. Although, and Crunk Oh, 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 Crunk oh, Crunk I'm jumping around a lot here, but again, it's like I have a general review where it could, even though my opinion is changing, come on, you guys, there's a lot more guys there. So, but it's an interesting thing. Um, um, she is the villain of the movie, and you know, I, inter she is entertaining because she's basically an alphabet from superpower. And that's what makes her fun to watch because she's just going, you know, trying hard to be intimidating. But I'm going to tag it. She can out physical power. She is not a threat at all. And a lot of times she makes dumb decisions. One well, more point in the scene where she actually failed to ruin the um, decoration of the top for the dance and frame twice. But that conference was involved almost immediately. Almost immediately had to write frame for a fast entry. I'm like, come again and prove, hey, she didn't do it. And they're like, okay. Louis doesn't even bother, like, fighting for Luna. Then you bother looking into who did it. Oh, someone would apparently frame you to come back. Oh, well, not my problem. <laughs> it's like, and like, immediately after that, even after that, you know, some, everyone gets the damp back together and fixing everything, and something goes good. I want to go on it, but she doesn't. If that's the case, why did you ruin it to begin with? Just to frame her? That type of thing was completely pointless. The only thing to get to was to give Flash Entry something to do. You know, can't come at that the best thing to do in terms of thing they could come up with. Um oh fast f the dick dick the cunt can't I can't redemption a lot of redemption for good more rush. At least start women got a beautiful number this. So as soon as she defeated she get in that hole and she gonna cat fake and go, Hey, like I kept you. Friendship, you know, it's just it's dumb. It's like it's kinda cute, you know, how it happened, you know, it um can't you know it took the moral of it done kind of regurgitate a lot more from the community in that, yeah, basically gang French of magic, that is the moral here, and, uh, apparently the moral, if we wait to but the moral is, I can get friends by going to another dimension. That's the only thing I can do. <laughs> That's all I know what dimension. <laughs> ah, I totally think of that. Speaking of that, they have the Twilight told them about their own dimension, or Pinkie Pie, kind of, because you predict it. And they're totally accepting of it. They're like, oh, you've heard mentioned. I completely buy that. It's like, I feel for like weird out, but then I get a good bike talk, I suppose. My favorite line in the very end after everything cleared up bike talk, no more, like, ah, oh, talking dog, a bike, really? A talking dog, the weird part of all this? Bike is awesome in this movie. He got a lot of snarky lines, and he could genuinely help to, um, try. And by being a dog, he doesn't feel like someone's bitch. <laughs> I'm going now. Um, he's not a huge butt monkey here. He actually a genuine supportive person and helps out. You know, he's really good. One thing I don't like is that they still you can question rarity. Human rarity. Dog. Human. Yeah. Like what? Well, they they can probably they drop that or turn it down. But here it's there and like what? But you know. No one can get on her, uh, her redemption is definitely both rush of all of these. Like, again, at least they had an entire epicogue or stuff like that for, like, an all time gun or an epicogue for the Antiara. Um, you know, on the, sure not too much, but people don't mind that because when the Kangaboo began, you automatically have, they, they did a very good job taking the concept of her having turned good and Complete running of it, a great, great character development to make her like the best character in this franchise. No question, I mean, you know, you know, go. But in the movie, it was kind of weird. But again, oh well, 
Like a Diego Pablo movie that, you know, she died. And again, also, one thing I kind of like is a climax in which she took on the crown and turned into a demon farm thing and make all the teenagers into her zombie puppet thing. And call it think that it's stupid. Got people think that it's awesome. I think it's stupidly awesome. It's ridiculous and all hell, but it gets the community in general. It gets no more ridiculous when it's trying to by we get later on the community and other stuff like that. I think it's awesome how stupid it is. It comes out of nowhere, and I feel like if, if again, I'm gonna point out if you're not familiar with how things tend to work, you'll be like, what the hell? It's like you can like mingle when you turn to Lord of the Ring at the end. It's like, but if you're more familiar with the franchise, then I believe, but even then, it's still kind of weird. What happened? They kind of movie did a better job of making it clear right away that they could do this and blah blah blah. Okay, when it, at the end it's less ridiculous because you know it kind of like you eager to believe, you kind of are ready for it. And they do it in a more in a way it's not weird or clunky. Um, it was for me to recommend that that but it was also kind of ridiculous there too. With um, you know, each each of the movie featuring um, going and turn into a demon thing. Um, some way. I mean, it'd be cool with the Kyron, but, um, weird if the other, um, you know. Uh, the whole game for them ponying up is pretty cool, okay? I like, speaking which, I love the opening. Um, the opening thing is nice, but the actual, like, opening, like, the opening credit thing would be awesome. Uh, I really like the remake of, of the theme, and I really like the L animation, especially, you know, showing a lot of stuff. It makes you feel like you're watching a movie. It reads it sound like I'm watching a longer Epica, which is fine. Um, and, you know, but that definitely felt like a movie. I prefer the opening scene to the other, opening to the other movie, but, um, but that's cool, too. I guess I have a good movie computer, but only because it was the first movie in the first track, and the very first Battle Pony, and it's also the first Game of Thrones Battle Pony movie. Since the 80s, probably the old first time playing a movie against them, because, um, well, one I would count as a comic kind of movie, but not quite in G3. But, um, and not to mention, um, there would have been like the 30th or going anniversary of the franchise in general, uh, 1983, I believe, that it began, in 84, when the cartoon started, 83, when the brand began, so I go up with the way to celebrate the franchise of 30th anniversary, with one more like a thing to happen to it. I guess maybe I could also be everything for the cartoon. Um, you know, like, go to a kingdom because we had, um, I can remember in May, a, a month too late, it was April, actually, no, the day, April 14, 1984, roughly, I think. April something, 1984. Um, I, I, I had to review that V1 pilot at one point, so I kind of know a little bit about it. <laughs> go, you know, go. Oh, and Flash Gentry. Yeah, and I love how he went from something people, someone people hate to some people love to hate. And then the Katong would capture a well aware of that, and he kind of broke it up. He had fun with it. He, he, or he completely, like, he is a generic boy, loving Perkins, Perkin, type of control world, and honestly, the only contribution he genuinely makes for that is that bit I mentioned with Put You Click and helping out a bit McCong. Um, I don't like he's just generic. I don't hate him, but he's completely useless and considering to like virtually a pony, it's just awkward that they're doing this. You could have cut it and if you don't want anything. He's just generic. I don't hate him, like everyone else does, because he's not an asshole at least, and he, you know, I just feel like he's being kind of drag. Um, he better the other two movies because we own up to the fact that you were going to at least give him an excuse. And the second movie, they basically, you kind of got to get him into an asshole. And apparently, when the Katong virtually heard that gonna happen, like, well, are you sure about that? I'm feeling like I'm gonna get like, no, no. Um, you know, what happens when you look into a podcast and watch interviews and read interviews like that, you get to find out typical like that. Um, you know, um, no. Uh, commentary gone, though, to be a pretty good for the most part. Um, um, uh, we're gonna be contracting a new one, so, oh, that should be a lot, a little, a little more fun. So I probably will, if I like it enough, obviously, but the only, even though I do like it, fine, I feel like if the bunker didn't get that, I'd probably skip out on it and just get the other two, get the other second one. You know? But, because the lot of I kind of had to have it go, I just never free, because each movie would cost, like, probably way more on their own, so it's better just be able to get all of them at once. You know? 
a robot character from, you know, um, you know, um, but yeah, um, but, uh, oh, and for the Kong, um, uh, for the Kong Go, we have another, like, great, again, it, each movie has a distinct style to it, and this one should be for a generic bone room. Uh, and in Kong King of that work, I do really like that cafeteria Kong. It got great build up to it, and it very high can be cool in a good way. And that Strange New World Kong Ignite, it can actually get you to try getting you to the world. Let's do a little more playing the more Kong playing back in Covenant 1, and the majority of them are generic pop blocks. I mean, not horrible, and they're well made, I suppose, but they're just meh. Nah. But again, they can all be nice about the affair of them because we'll give them a golf and just go and the, with them getting ready for the, the prom eventually. And it's in, more part of the way doing a tweeny thing, but that is don't squarely into that new yeesh, yow. But, and you know, it's not the worst thing ever in the cute. Uh, but only one Kong really took out. But the other movie, we're gonna go few Kong with took out, you know. They definitely got better of a contract. The other movie because they very thing up and do different style. Um, you know, what's the comment on? Um, I think I comment on most of it. Um, yeah, I commented on how we, we um, uh, how it dug me has a little too much, you know, making it cold going for the motion of something you already know. Um, come on, come on, can we become Garland? Um, Fike is a pretty good character development. Um, Garland get that look of his own redemption and kind of dumb. Um, you know, and they're pretty good humor, and you know, Fike is awesome. Um, still doing it. Still working on it? Yeah. Uh, Try to find more they're my other set of earbuds. Okay. You still working? Yeah. Okay. I got Grisha Rat look up. Um but in, I do feel like going back to movie that's pretty interesting. I haven't seen it well last time I watched it even before I caught in the rock. So I can't remember where I came out, I haven't really watched it. Go and honestly I had no plan to rewatch it until I had to do this, so there you go. Um Um it go back to the instrument because I got a bit more appreciation for it because I do realize that if the first time they're doing playing like and on top of that they're gonna get bailing the guy could actually ask for the two kids and go off and they probably demanded it. they demanded a couple of songs, they demanded a lot of dance and black country. You know, and they had to get around that, and there's some point where they get around that and trick on interesting or trick entertainment value, and other time it's it kind of awkward. But kind of for me, they definitely we got you because it turned out well, they let them have more freedom, and they were allowed to just kind of have more fun, even if they were still, you know, the murky of half bro and the eight check. Um, <laughs> still, uh, that's the fun. Um, it's, um, but, yeah, but at the same time, man, the king has the king of the other league, it's just weird to keep the coach from being a weak villain, and it's just weird to keep the franchise like that. And again, I feel like they didn't know where it would be my pony, he went on the car, he went on the mile, stuff my pony, and the other two, they kind of give and take between the elements that work pretty well, um, you know, um, go, you know, but this way I do think it do. I think the entertainment value, because the story is nothing too special, and they took a character, and again, they mostly try to get that really do anything of importance. Now, I think they're a good point. They kind of don't get much more than in my beginning, but to are in the universe where they weren't friends at one point, and that kind of is trying to get them to get back together. Rick and Park in the pot that started pretty well, Rick Park, but not started pretty well. I don't keep in the other movie, but won't keep the other movie, you won't be able to think of where the camp again without going, you know, we did that a lot better in the other movie. But that was the first one, you know, I don't think any way that could turn out perfectly amazing and let Capital really just let them do whatever they wanted, you know. So I'm willing to forgive the vlog of this movie because they definitely got the shit together the other movie, you know. Mm, you know, um, but in general I don't think we entertaining enough, you know, again, it got, got the next moment, it got, we got a couple of different Kong, a uh, couple of characters try to fight to get out of, like, more entertaining, but some good humor, animation, night, um, oh, for the guy, we look fine, um, for what they've been going for, in terms of the guy, the color thing, well, I don't mind if they made them all look like dark character, because, well, imagine if they guy to make them all white, or dare to make one of them ethnic in some way, 
Yeah, they would rather avoid that sh storm. Uh, I definitely agree. I feel like what Barash is doing with Doug thing. Dude, dude. Speaking of Doug, I got Doug to watch after this. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, boy, oh, movie I've already reviewed. He didn't that like that, really. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty quick. Cool. Doug, how it can hold out up there in the movie? Okay. I do believe I'm still a charm to clean with all the cabinets for the first time. And, it kind of, and I do feel more knowing that most of the problems come from the limitation and the first time doing this rather than being genuinely incompetent for the most part. You know, but the same time after the other movie, I do feel like watching this kind of point. But good deal of watching, I can enjoy the and I can call it good. Especially, I do feel like it, it's more better by putting product than a movie because I do feel like if you're not as familiar, you're probably going to go, eh. But you'll appreciate it more if you more play the character and stuff like that. Which is weird given the different world. Yeah. But after we read the grip, they're quaint to go back to this movie, you know. Mm. You know, even though, yeah, they got shit get more when it comes to the other one. Because, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, I do think it'll be a while. I guess, after I come from, I'm gonna watch it again. May I don't know, depending. Yeah, maybe when we take over the camera marathon of all the movies like, in a row. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, in general, I'm probably not gonna watch it. Yeah, time soon, anyway. Um, if I do watch, it could be well, like a few years from now where I've forgotten. You know, you know, whatever in cafe I watch, I actually like it. You know, I do like it, but I feel like we are doing everything with Pui Dung, we are doing much better. The only thing with Pui Dung better than the is Spike. He's in it and he's entertaining with me, but he's not nearly an awkward in this movie. He's toned down a little bit, which is fine. Um,. <laughs> Yeah, well, bad, well, yeah, Country Girl, definitely interesting, you know, quite comfortable, well, but now people just kind of accept it, because they take this idea and take, and morphed into something that is very entertaining and quite interesting, working for some movie where it was kind of, it's definitely interesting, but in general, I do like the movie. Yeah, it's heavily flawed, but it's also got a lot of things that I find entertaining, and it's more entertaining than not, and even the flaws are kind of entertaining, I think some part, like, I can actually think it, I like making fun of how kind of dumb and things are, you know, between all the things go. It can be, even though the bad part can be kind of entertaining because of the bad or dumbness of it, they'll become a bit of a guilty brother. So at least I won't cringe, again, I won't get really bored or annoyed too much in this. And even when I won't, it'll get it in a way of kind of funny. So, and I can park, I, I did get more genuine enjoyment out of it, you know, than not go. I can have more. Good than bad here in general, but I do understand why people don't. I definitely understand why people don't like it. People basically after the other movie, people went well, they're cooking the trash. Now we have the movie. That thing we got like that thing got like a main game or anything. I got problems with French and gang and stuff like that. Like the villain who honestly we can get him in this movie and that can something. <laughs> yeah, but um, but uh, especially when we're but not near what we got making, but compared to this movie, they do a lot of good things and aren't in Jenny Wolf Brown in the film. Work in this movie, which is just nice. Go, yeah. I'm not sure how I could give a recommendation because if you haven't seen the movie, you might want to get to the guy who wanted to know. I got one bad at one point, that's all you need to know. But this is a good curiosity piece. I could curiosity piece, what you know you're getting into, you'll be able to get into it now. Well, if you're a fan of the and Magic and you haven't seen me, then that kind of weird. You should have seen these one by now. Go, well, actually. Wait. But, yeah, a question you know. Yeah, it's a good thing. I think I'm gonna wrap up here. Go back question you know. Maybe for a I still get women out of it in spite of the problem. Even though I'm not gonna even get it for a while. Um, I still have rewatched Fresh Gang. I've only, you know, one look at them up to this point. Go. But kind of good because of that commentary, of course. But that doesn't really count. And I don't think anything even seen it yet. <laughs> he probably gonna get around. He's not gonna get around. And he's waiting for a Vinegar Free Air TV, which is back in October, apparently, for coming in. And it's gonna come in November, but I'm going when they're gonna air it. Um, so, I'll well, be we sure to get that. Um, go, very good question, girl. It was a lot of fun reading this week, and I haven't seen it yet before it rock came out, and I haven't rebriggled it. And I've had more negative connotation because a lot of people have been fashion point of flame work, because now when people come out, people have a reading to fashion point. But, you know, it was a lot of fun going back to a point. 
you know, in Element Guardian Alpha 4 or having new perspective out and people go. It might be flawed, but I guess we'll get enjoyment out of it, you know, regardless of the flaws go. I think that fight cook the book on it. Let's read uh get a question Um, yeah. <laughs> um yeah. I think the good pop get to get if you just want all of them, you know, when we come. I probably can make a new one later if we come out, but I you know, go. If you, if you haven't gotten it yet, you might want to wait for that. But, um, let's look at Walmart, by the way. Now I got an advertisement for a question girl. <laughs> um, look very convenient for you, though. Um, go. Go at you know, question girl. Let's move on for half hour video, but for an uh, hour, it's getting a minute long movie. That's quite a I should been 10 movie, by the way. Which is not very good. Um, <laughs> So, there you go. So, I had fun with the vlog, I had fun with the the movie, you know, for whatever. Um, go glad that it's from French Tank around. It could, basically could have dig go deeper, but they got better. Go back. Question, you know. <sighs> okay, go Vic Saturday. We have Legendary of Everfree, um, the Guadalga regular episode, PPOV, Pony Point of View, kind of got one. No idea what I'm gonna do with Legendary of Everfree. We're gonna put that up. I might be like in the middle of a day, maybe later day. I don't know. I might be do it around now. I'm gonna do. I, I don't know. It might be. It might be. I don't know. It could be on Saturday. I hope. You know, but I when on Saturday, I don't know. Go so, on um, the upper code and um. And oh yeah, next week let's find out. Finally, if, yeah, if I've been doing planned things for a while. So finally, we get to pick one out from ninety one. org eighty one. Okay. That would be. Ah, uh, alright, I'm bringing you guys to that one. Come on, I gotta pick another one. That's the first time that happened, I think. Okay. Go cool, good to random, I can get after having to, you know, do a planned one. 38, okay. That would be... Another one I already did with the fridge. Not that even happened. 24. <laughs> 24. That would be Owl Well Van End Well. Oh joy. That could be an interesting one to talk about. Hey, good time I'll fight for more after him being awesome here. Back <laughs> awesome there. Um go there you go, a Quetri girl. Gonna go Quetri There you go, Quetri girl gonna think that happened. But people are better, but you know, all well. And this guy we got Legend of Bear Free, which will hopefully be good. Um Hopefully be comparable fresh game get linked and um um you know go fun fun time and next week we have uh the how well and well which is added well. So and um my birthing law is available on on um we're watching the app and it's available on the YouTube for Americans and if it's up here next week, which week after that, which is where my own birthday vlog will begin. So I don't know about that you know, but I don't know if you want to wait and see. So I shall see you all for then. Later.